Florida effectively banned advanced placement psychology classes in the state due to the course's content on sexual orientation and gender identity. Okay, let's talk about this. What's up ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between? My name is Dakota of The Weird, and in this video we're going to be talking about this effective ban on AP psychology in the state of Florida, which I honestly just, in a lot of ways, do not understand. So, it says here on NBC News' article, the state's Department of Education informed the college board that its AP psychology class is in violation of the state law, the higher education nonprofit, said in a statement. Florida's Parental Rights in Education Act, or what critics have dubbed the Don't Say Gay Law, restricts the instruction of sexual orientation and gender identity in the state's classrooms. The state's ban in this content removes the choice from parents and students, the college board said in a statement, coming just days from the start of school. It derails the college readiness and affordably plans of tens of thousands of Florida students currently registered for AP Psychology, one of the most popular AP classes in the state. And they're right. You know what I mean? I'm not even mentioning right now the fact that it's a blatant attack on the LGBT community, because it is, we're just not there yet. The state's move to restrict the AP psychology course comes several months after its decision to block AP African American studies courses as widely condemned by academics and civil rights activists. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not a political person. I, the fact that I'm even making this video is a surprise to me. Um, I just, as a fellow NB myself, feel like this needs to be known. The college board added that Florida will allow superintendents to offer the college level psychology class for high schoolers if they exclude LGBTQ topics. Again, a blatant attack on the LGBT community. I, you can't not see this. However, the college board argued that excluding the lessons, which it described as teaching on how sex and gender influence socialization and other aspects of development, would censor college-level standards. Exactly! I didn't even read that yet. Exactly! It added that lessons regarding sexual orientation and gender identity have been included in AP Psychology since the course was created 30 years ago. Facts! Now, all that was said on August 3rd, which, at the time of recording, is yesterday. So, a few hours ago, USA Today made a statement that said AP Psychology could be allowed in Florida after all. A day after news broke that the State Department of Education was effectively banning the course by prohibiting instruction of gender and sexual orientation, the department is now clarifying it will allow school districts to teach the class in full, according to a letter sent to superintendents. In fact, the departments believe that AP Psychology can be taught in its entirety in a manner that is age and developmentally appropriate, and the course remains listed in our course dialogue. The letter comes a day after the state advised superintendents that they could offer AP Psychology, but were instructed to include topics related to gender and sexual orientation to comply with Florida law, according to a statement by the College Board. Of course, this is talking about the quote-unquote don't say gay law, which I personally don't agree with that law either. Now, I haven't read in full detail what that law means, but basically, I've got the gist of it. And it's basically like, you know, you can't teach stuff about the LGBT community in schools, high schools, elementary schools, colleges, which elementary schools I can understand. They're too young to know about all that shit. But high schoolers and college students? Yeah, chances are, if you're in high school or college, you're either identifying as gay or at least know about it. You know what I mean? You at least either know that being gay and being LGBT community in general is a thing or you're a part of it just because it that's that's today's society I'm not saying everybody needs to be gay or you know everybody needs to be okay with it I don't care if you're okay with it or not I just don't understand why it can't be taught in college you know I can even understand it not being taught in high school you know what I mean it's not important enough to be taught in high school it's not. But college as an elective, an advanced elective, which you can later choose to major in? Yeah. It should be taught. Because people can be gay. And there are gay people out there. There are transgender people out there. There are non-binary people out there. 
I am one of those people. For those of you who don't know, I am non-binary. I specifically identify as a gender, and my pronouns are they, them. On top of that, I also prefer mix instead of mister as my prefix, but nobody really uses prefixes with me yet. I don't deserve that kind of honor. <laughs> Honestly, so check this out. POV. You want to major in psychology or you want to be some kind of therapist. Cool. Good on you. Me personally, I don't like therapy, but I know that it helps other people. Imagine you go get your therapy license and you start your job as a therapist and your first patient is me. And you find out immediately that I'm non-binary. What do you do then? I mean, yes, of course, you know, you could learn more from this from your patient, but wouldn't you like to be prepared for that? in advance. You know what I mean? If you have the opportunity to be prepared for a non-binary patient, why wouldn't you want to be? You know what I mean? I just, I don't get it. I don't understand why it cannot be taught in college. Why Florida has such a big problem with it. USA Today went on to say the college board has suggested that I might withhold the AP designation from the course in Florida, ultimately hurting the Florida students, he wrote, which is true. It definitely will. This is especially concerning given that the new school year begins in a week. I want to be clear. AP Psychology is and will remain in the course code directory, making it available to Florida students. Oh, okay. So they're not banning it, but they almost did. And that's scary. I mean, me, I don't even live in Florida, and that's scary for me, because I feel like people should at least know. Now, I'm not trying to force anything on anybody. I don't care what your gender identity is. I don't care what your sexuality is. As long as you are who you are, I'm happy, as anybody else should be. You know what I mean? Now, when it comes to the way you dress, the same thing goes. Dress exactly the way you want the way you're comfortable, as long as it's appropriate for where you're wanting to go, of course. But, you know, for example, if you have a trans woman, wear a dress. All you want. If you're a trans man, I... Mm, I don't even know what men wear, <laughs> to be honest. I have no idea. Um, wear your cargo shorts or whatever. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Dress masculine. Dress feminine. Dress however you want. Dress androgynous. I dress androgynous all the time. Look at me. I'm wearing a sports bra. I don't even have breasts. Nor do I want them. But am I still wearing a bra? Yes. Why? Because it's comfortable. It's, it's, it's just the way I am. Does it bother you? If it does, go ahead and stop watching this video. Bye. And USA Today also goes on to say, The department didn't ban the course. The course remains listed in Florida's course code directory for the 2023-24 school year. DOE spokesperson Cassie pa Palais, Palais, however you say that, wrote in an email, We encourage the college board to stop playing games with Florida students and continue to offer the course and allow teachers to operate accordingly. Despite the state's attempt at clarity, however, across Florida on Friday, districts were altering students' schedules and crafting alternative ways to teach college-level psychology classes just days before the 2023-24 school year begins, some such as Brevard Public Schools on Florida's East Coast deciding to nix the class altogether. So what, are they making it optional for the school to choose whether they want the class there or not? That's not the way to go with that. The way to go is to keep the class optional. The student should be able to choose whether they want to take that class or not. And the class should be an option. You know what I mean? Because, yeah, you're going to have your students that aren't going to want to take that class. You're going to have your students that aren't going to want anything to do with the LGBT community. You know what I mean? So they say this class, they see this class, and they say, oh, it talks about the LGBT community. I don't want to take that class because of that. Okay, big deal. That's on you. But don't ban the class altogether for even a single school. You know what I mean? It should be an option because there are also going to be students who are going to want to take that class, not only to major in a class that has something to do with psychology, but maybe they want to learn more about the LGBT community in general. 
you know what I mean? In ways that other people just can't. Because even me, as a member of the LGBT community, I could not teach anybody about the LGBT community the LGBTQ community in a way that a college could. I just, I don't have that level of education. So learning it from me, I mean, yeah, you may learn a thing or two, but you're not going to be able to sit there and have an entire conversation about it after having, after talking to me about it. And I don't encourage anybody to either. Even after you watch this video, I don't want you to go talking to people, talking about, hey, this person said this is bad for this and this and this. You know what I mean? Don't don't do all that. By all, I, by all means, am not a major in psychology. I'm not even in college yet. I'm just giving my personal opinion based on what I know. So please do not use me in any sort of argument, like whatsoever. I want to make that very clear. But in my personal opinion, they need to keep this class an option. Not only for the students who want to be a psychology major or a therapist in general, or whatever major you may want regarding psychology, but on top of that, people can just know about the LGBT community. What's wrong with that? And like I said before, I can perfectly understand not teaching it in elementary school or even high school. But college, it can be an option. People are mature enough to be able to sit down, learn, and talk about it at that point. I just... I don't understand. What is Florida's problem with the LGBT community? What is anybody's problem with the LGBT community? I mean, granted, we're not perfect, but you're not perfect either. Nobody's perfect. I just... Don't get it. All we're doing is being ourselves. And I know that there's a lot of bad apples. People say this about the police, too. I know there are a lot of bad apples in the LGBT community. You got your good gays and you got your bad gays. Believe me, I know a lot of bad gays. But... That doesn't mean that there aren't any good gays. Any good days. You know what I mean? Any good trans folk. We're not bad people. Like you, we're being just ourselves. You know what I mean? And the only reason why it should be taught in school in my opinion, is, is for reasons like this. If you want to major in some sort of psychology or be a therapist, something like that. Because learning about the LGBTQ community helps you further understand the way people are and the way they can be. And you can learn that over the course of your career, you can figure it out. But it would be much more effective in your you would be much more effective in your career if you already have a steady knowledge of it based on your education from college. You know what I mean? I, I feel like that's justifiable. But on top of that, you know, I just want to say states, especially Florida, need to make up their mind on what they're going to teach. They switch shit up all the time, especially under the Don't Say Gay Act. You know what I mean? It's just dumb. They need to make up their minds, just like the entire United States makes up, needs to make up their mind. You know what I mean? We change our entire political views every four to eight years. You know what I mean? And I, and I get it's because, you know, we have elections every four years. But come on. Every time we switch administrations, Everything switches. Our alliances with other countries switch, and all kinds of stuff like that. And I could understand how that would piss some other countries off. You know what I mean? But while we're on the topic of the Department of Education, and we're going completely off topic of the LGBT community and the Don't Say Gay movement and all these other things like that regarding Florida, I feel like the school system doesn't teach the students 
what they need to know. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure, you can have all the electives you want in college. We're not even talking about that. I'm talking about high school, elementary school. You know what they need to teach us? They need to teach us how to pay taxes. They need to teach us how to drive. They need to teach us how to buy houses, how to save money. They need to teach us how to live. Because, yes, we are living. We are not just living to go work. You know what I mean? We are living our own individual lives. And we have things in our lives besides working that are fundamental and extremely important. And these things, they don't teach us in school. I, just, I don't understand. The Department of Education, all across the board, is all kinds of messed up for many reasons, not just regarding the stupid political shit. And yes, I'm saying it's stupid because politics in general, in my opinion, is just fucking stupid. You know what I mean? We've got the left and the right fighting over each other, or fighting each other to the death sometimes over some stupid opinions they may have, what they believe is right, what they believe is wrong. You know what I mean? That's your own opinions. Why do we have to fight over it? Then we got other people who say they're so big into politics and all this and that, but they only listen to one side just because somebody on that side said something they agree with. So they say, oh, hey, I believe in this person. So we're going to start following this. Oh, they follow this side. We're going to start paying attention to this side only. And then you realize you have another side who has a lot of different beliefs and you say, oh, you're fucking stupid. You know what I mean? You don't even give them a chance to talk and explain. I feel like the way politics should be run in general is pay attention to both sides. Every single opinion, every single side of the story. And from there, you draw your own conclusion. You know what I mean? And people don't do that. I've only seen a good handful of people actually do that. Everybody else, it, it, they just, they're ignorant because they only pay attention to one side. They only learn from one side and that's how they develop their stubbornness and their ignorance. And that goes for both sides, not just the Republicans, not just the Democrats, both sides. And neither side is perfect and neither side is fucked off sideways either. Both sides can be right, and both sides are right in some cases. In some cases, both sides can be wrong. Politics in general just pisses me off. But anyway, that's all I really wanted to talk about in this video. I want a political debate to be started in the comment section. But I want it to be peaceful, and I want it to be justifiable. I want you to just talk about anything you want, keep it clean, keep it appropriate, but I want you to talk about things that you believe should be talked about. And further educate each other, because that's what needs to be done. I don't care what side you're from, speak your mind. Just keep it clean, keep it appropriate. <laughs> that's my challenge for everybody who watches this video. If you like what I have to say, go ahead and leave a like. And if you think I'm cool or whatever, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of my content. Also, feel free to check out my Supersonic Drama episodes series that I've got going on. Um, that's really all the shorts I have, to be honest. I need to come up with more content regarding shorts. But, yeah, that's, that's really all I have for this video. That being said, I will see all of you beautiful people in the next one. See you, fuckers.